probably a perfect time to do a video on our little solar system we have here attached to our house. I got two 200 watt solar panels on the back side hooked up to a charge controller. And I have on the front of the house for the evening sun, another 200 watt uh, charge controller, which is hooked up to, or solar panel, which is hooked up to its own charge controller. From what I've read is you don't want to hook both sets of solar panels, these and the one on the other side of your house to one, a single charge controller. You'll actually be defeating your own purpose. I can't remember the reasoning for that. You guys should look that up. So I, I bought separate charge controllers and hooked on the other side of the house, a 200 watt panel that catches the evening sun. And then this back here catches the morning sun hooked to its own charge controller going into a battery bank of six golf cart batteries. Now, I've done a video on this before, but right now our power's out. We've had some massive storms. We had a tree go down up on the other side of the house. Down there's my camper. I got 1200 watts on that one, and plus I've got uh, lithium batteries on that. And that's what we go to if we have to with power's out a long period of time. You hear the saws cutting the tree up there that went down. But I just thought to give you an idea of what we run with this. So it's not a huge system, but it's enough to do things that give us a little bit of comfort. Now, our house is not completely dark. Doing a little video here, guys, of the solar system that we have set up. And right now they're running a light in the living room so the kids can play and the wife can sit and enjoy. Got a little charge station set up with a fan we had running here in the kitchen. And of course in my dark room, my man cave here, you can hear a fan running. I've got plenty of uh, battery powered lights as well. But we can get through a whole night. It's been over three hours now we've been running off of this. So I'm running this fan. Now upstairs, they're also running the fan. My daughter and her husband lives up there. And they're running some lights off of theirs. And I'll kind of show you what I did. I mean, it's, it's kind of a rig job, but it works good. Got a little junction box here. It's got a breaker on it that I run for power upstairs. I just got a single stench cord going up there. They're not running too much. And then I've got a thicker cable here. This is a 30 amp, I believe. It's either 20 or 30, I can't remember now. I drilled through my house and put an adapter plate. I can actually plug back up and close up. PVC so I can get out to my system. Excuse the dog. And in our garage is where I have this set up. I can't get back to everything real good, guys, but I'll give you an idea of what we're doing. So I've got two of these. I'm trying to remember what the name of this is. I'll have to put it in the description for you. I bought two of these a while back. They've worked really well. They're MPPT controllers. I've got, like I say, the one set of panels running off of the left one there. That's out back that I showed you. And I got another panel that's running into this one and charging this bank of batteries down here. I got six golf cart batteries. And then I'm running this all through one of these pure sine wave inverters. I got one of these in the camper too. It's actually done really well. These are actually pretty good guys. They're inexpensive. I mean, I've heard a lot of reviews both ways about these. I've had no problems with them. They went with this is 3000 water for what I'm doing, which is plenty. You know, I'm not trying to run the whole house. I'm just running some basic things. And this has been running for three hours. It's reading. But if I go in and actually look, let's see if I can tell here. Yeah, that light's so bright, you can't see it. 12 point, what's it say in there? 12.7. So I've been holding at 12.7 now for 
It was 12.8 for about three hours and it just went down to 12.7. So it's holding pretty good. And we can get through a whole night doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna show you what we got here as far as the other panel. This panel was damaged in shipping. got a pretty good ding on it there but this thing's still pumps out 11.1 amps it's a 200 watt panel i've had absolutely no troubles with it with this whatsoever but i've got it set up to where it just picks up the last bit of sun that goes over these trees and it's still getting some even though we got almost no sun right now i'm still getting some positive charge from it and these are costa costa solar panels and even, I mean, they gave me a refund on this one because it was damaged in shipping. I sprayed some, um, oh, I'm trying to think what it's called. I have to show you. I'll show you the can I got down, downstairs. I sprayed on this. It's held up now for over two years of just coating this. The water runs right off of it, no problem. And I haven't lost any voltage or amperage off of it. I'll do a little screen record of the uh, app that we use for this. I'm trying to remember the name of these. HQST, I think is the name of the actual uh, charge controllers. And I'll show you the software I'm using uh, that I can test. I can see what, what this is putting out while inside the house. I don't actually have to come out here and do it. It goes by Bluetooth. These run off of Bluetooth. I'm sitting here in the dark, but not that I have to. <laughs> the system actually would allow me to run this whole room if I wanted to. I've actually ran my TV. I've ran my computer system off of it. I can hook the internet up when this internet is still working, but since the internet's actually went down too with this, uh, when the tree fell, there's no sense in hooking all that up. And we knew this was only going to be a three, four hour outage, so we didn't bother hooking everything up. I got a fan running so I can be fairly comfortable. Um, if we knew it was going to be a longer period of time, I would hook my refrigerator. I have two small deep freezes. None of this stuff runs more than two amps off of each one of them. So I, I've ran this little refrigerator and I've ran uh, two small deep freezers off of this solar setup we have. And that's got us through a whole night. You wake up in the morning, the batteries are pretty weak. What I usually do is just shut down or uh, turn off the uh, the outlet strips that are hooking into the refrigerators and into the deep freezers and give the batteries a chance to recharge for a few hours. And you know, these the refrigerator and the freezers will hold, they'll hold plenty cold for that amount of time. If it's gonna be a two day, three day, a week event, you know, we still have a way of uh, you know, being fairly comfortable and not losing our food. The main reason why I set this what this this little setup up was to keep from losing our food. And so that we don't have to sweat, because it always happens when it's 90-some degrees with terrible, terrible humidity, 
your house gets like a you know an oven uh, just so we can stay in the house i set this up i have the camper set up as well so i can use it you know if we, as a backup if we decide to go camping or or take it somewhere else or just go stay in it for a while because i've got more power in it i actually can run my uh, air conditioning off of it for a short period of time as well off of one of those uh inverters that i showed you out there in the garage i wish i would have had a little bigger one because it gets pretty hot i'd like to have a little better setup a little bigger setup as far as the inverter goes but i've been running these 3000 wa uh, waters but just letting you know this is a follow-up i've done a video on this setup once before this is a real time video we're going on two, uh, three and a half hours now power outage and we're still running fans and still doing things we need to do. Like I say, we could run coffee pot, microwave, things like that if we need to. Just not for long periods of time. Because it'll suck the juice down pretty fast if you run them big things. But if you're running just basic little things and fans, I mean, I can run these all night long. Off this Excitement setup. of the power being back on. Yeah! After four hours. Yeah! <laughs> it's finally on. We finally have it in. But I would say having... The uh, solar setup, but when the power does go out, we can run things we need. Worked out pretty good for us. Now I just gotta go clean everything back up, all my cables. See you later.